Welcome back to The Daily Diaries, Crystal here, and today we are doing a get ready with me video using the stunning Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. I love this palette so much, which is why we are using that and a whole bunch of other Melt Cosmetics products on my face and some other brands as well that I'm really into right now. So if you want to hang out with me, get ready. Let's do that now. So I've already put some eye cream on and I am currently using the Coco Marie Peptide Eye Treatment, which I absolutely love. This is from a small batch brand of skincare and body care in Handorf in South Australia, which is this amazing little cute German tourist town. It's it's gorgeous. If you ever come to South Australia, you need to definitely check out Handorf. But Coco Marie makes beautiful skincare products with really excellent ingredients and they're clean and no nasties in there. So I highly recommend uh, you can order online. I've also already put on my sunscreen. So I am currently using the To Save Face SPF 50 Plus Brightening Sun Serum from Mecca Cosmetica. So I literally wear sunscreen every single damn day rain hail or shine literally hail or shine it was hailing the other day and i still had my sunscreen on so um i definitely think that is one of the best things i've ever done for my skin and i've just turned 40 and i think my skin's doing pretty great <laughs> having had no no anything really other than microneedling thus far. So that is already on and uh, that one also has like hyaluronic acid and stuff in it as well. So sometimes I don't feel like I need to put any other moisturizers or anything on top of that. But what I am going to take is my RMS Beauty Re-Evolve Radiance Locking Primer. This one has a really lovely glow about it, but it has this cute little pump here too and it's refillable. So um, don't make my mistake and, and shake it because if you, sh if you shake it vigorously, the the top bit flies out <laughs> because it's meant to be replaceable. So you just kind of wind it up and then go to town. So I'm just taking a little bit of that. And if it's sort of really warm and humid, I will often use, I switch it up. I might use my Milk Hydra Grip Primer just through my T-zone. I don't tend to use it on my whole face because I don't really need it on my whole face. Um, but today is not hot. <laughs> so I am using my RMS primer and I don't need much, don't need much of that at all. And I'm just going to also pop on some Alpha H liquid gold rose perfect and plump lip balm. And if you haven't come across Alpha H before, it is an amazing Australian skincare line and I use a whole bunch of their products and love them. All good stuff. And that one is really nice and nourishing and I have really dry lips, so I just <laughs> thought I'd wax them on while I do the rest of my face. Next up, just taking my Kosas Revealer Concealer. I use the shade 03 in this baby and I cannot live without it. I mean, I have literally been using this product since the very <laughs> day it landed in Australia in Mecca and I love it. It's my holy grail concealer because it looks so beautiful even on its own on the skin which I sometimes, if I'm just going to the shops or whatever, I'll literally just pop some reveal a concealer on. Also, when I was, a few times when I've been in hospital after surgeries, I've just taken my reveal a concealer in with me. Um, and if, you know, I was having visitors or something and I just wanted to look not like a dead person, <laughs> I would put the concealer on and it just brightens, brightens my face up. Makes me look alive. <laughs> okay, so I concentrate it under the eyes and also through my T-zone. So my nose does get a little bit red sometimes. Beautiful. Now I am taking a product I absolutely love lately and that is my Natural Mineral Cover Radiant Loose Powder Foundation from Nude by Nature. Sorry about the, uh, the state of the lid. It is a little bit smudgy. But I adore Nude by Nature. It's an Australian brand. It's all clean and beautiful and their products are so quality. I think I'm actually going to use one of their lipsticks later as well. But yeah, so this is the foundation that I've been using lately. After not having used a powder foundation for, I don't know, like 15 years or something. Wayne Goss actually inspired me to try it because he listed this as his favorite mineral powder foundation. And I was like, man, I could just pick that up at the chemist. So I was like, I'm going to do it. 
and he was not wrong. <laughs> this stuff is so good. So this comes with this little mesh netting in there. Uh, this is the Nude by Nature brush, which I love because it does not molt, <laughs> unlike some of my other face brushes. And the cap has this little stopper that makes sure it doesn't get too messy in the tin. But I also like to just tap the excess off on there before I apply it to my face. It's pretty foolproof. You can build it up as much as you like. My favorite liquid foundation lately is the Juice Beauty Fido Pigments Serum Foundation. I think that is an amazing foundation. It's another clean one and I love that. And it wears beautifully. It looks amazing on the skin. Wildlife going crazy. It sounds like I live in a jungle or something. I literally live in the middle of suburbia in a city. <laughs> We do have a lot of trees around, so we have a lot of birds. <laughs> so today is my day off. And the birds day off. Uh, <laughs> so I am just kicking it at home with my puppy, Billy Bowie Grohl, today. He's just being a little legend, just lying down next to me at the moment. He might even make an appearance at some point. <laughs> All right, so you can build this up as much or as little as you like. The color that I'm using as well, just for reference, is the medium shade. I think it's N4 medium, so it's neutral. Theoretically, I could use the lighter shade, the next one down, but the next one down is cool and I don't enjoy wearing cool toned foundations, so. All righty. I love this foundation. I just think it's so damn good. So damn good. And over the top of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, I wore it through very hot, humid weather and it did not move. So I was really super impressed with that. And I also have the finishing powder for the Nude by Nature. It's the Mineral Finishing Veil Translucent Loose Finishing Powder in 01 Natural. It does come in a really pretty pinky shade, which I think would be really nice and brightening under the eyes so that might be something I I try out but yeah it's exactly the same packaging as the foundation and so I mostly just put this I concentrate it through my t-zone sometimes I don't even use it and then I'll just just use the excess on the outside of my face I love it I love it I love it this is such a great foundation combination okay so that is my base done you might call me weird, but that's okay. I like to take this really cheapo ink, I think it's like a brow tint pen, um, and I like to just go over my moles that are already on my face because I like to still look like me. I don't want to look perfect. So I just go over the moles that are already on my face. I like them. And then just smudge that in with my finger, so it's really quite subtle. All right, next we're going to take a bronzer, and I have been absolutely loving the bejesus out of my Melt Cosmetics blush lights lately. Oh, they're just so good. I have links in both a cream blush light and a powder blush light. They are slightly different on the skin. So this one here is the powder. This one here is the cream. <gasps> this one here is the powder. And this one here is the cream. So they are slightly different. The cream is a little bit deeper. So I'm actually gonna take the powder Lynx blush light today. But both apply fine over the top of this powder foundation. And I'm just taking my big old Bobbi Brown bronzer brush to apply that I'm not contouring or anything, just keeping it pretty cash, pretty low key. Yeah, so I've been at home kicking it with my pup today. I did, I did make breakfast. Uh, well, actually, I f usually fast until 11 or 12. And then, yeah, I made, <laughs> well, I attempted to make an omelet for breakfast. And I put in basil, mixed herbs, chili flakes, obviously pepper, Himalayan salt, 
and some hemp seeds and, uh, and some cheese. <laughs> and it looked amazing. And I also made a, made up an, a bit of a guacamole to have with it. A bit of avo and lemon and duca. But when I was cooking the omelette, <laughs> things didn't go quite according to plan. I think I put too much, oh, I put coconut milk in it as well and I put too much in. <laughs> so it basically just turned into a scrambled egg bake. <laughs> But it actually tasted amazing, so, you know, all's well that ends well. <laughs> oh, how beautiful is this product? Honestly, if you haven't tried the Milk Cosmetics line, I can't. I can't recommend it any more highly. I bloody love everything that I own from their collection so far. So, huge fan, huge, huge fan of Milk Cosmetics. One of my favorite indie brands. So now I've got the bronzer on, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. And recently, because I love, <laughs> I love a gimmick, I do. I can't, anything that I think is really a cool, innovative design, I will give a go. Uh, and so recently I picked up this little pouch from Mad Love. This is an eyebrow stamping kit, basically. So it comes with this little brow stamp and the actual powder is in here. I've got mine in the blonde color and it comes with a bunch of different eyebrow stencils. So I have been using the number, number two or the number one. We're going to go with the number two today. To be honest, my eyebrow shape doesn't actually match any of these perfectly, but it's fine. So this will be fun. We're going to take this and obviously I would normally do this into a mirror. Let me just check the placement. Okay, so I've got it lined up to where I think I want to do it and then I literally just take the stamp and stamp over the top. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to check that in the mirror or this could end really badly. And I try and use more product on the outer edge. Yeah, pretty good. I'm just going to take a little spoolie and brush that out. To be honest, I'm still sort of on the fence about these because they don't really save me any time because I normally do really quick eyebrows anyway with my Gimme Brow Gel from Benefit. So it doesn't really take long. <laughs> but you know, it's something fun to try. <laughs> and maybe if you have trouble doing your brows, this could be, this could be a goer for you. Oh, I nearly just did the wrong one. <laughs> oh my God, I literally can't remember which brow stencil I just used. I think it was the, oh my God, what was it? It wasn't that one. One thing I definitely recommend is remembering which stencil you've just used on your eye so that you can use the matching one on the other side. <laughs> but no, I'm pretty sure it's this one. So <laughs> I'm just going to get some more stuff on this stand. I like to push my eyebrow hairs up before I put it on. Stamp it on. Um, I have seen people get the, the soft brown shade in this and apparently it's quite dark. So I urge on the side of caution and went with the blonde. Alrighty. And just taking my spoolie. <laughs> so there you go, that is the Mad Love kit in case you were interested in trying that out. It's quite fun. I do like the look that it gives and I do like that it gives you different eyebrow shapes that you can do. So if you wanna try having a different shape one day, it's really easy to do. Okay, now that my brows are done, actually, I am just going to set those with my 24-hour brow setter. Because my eyebrows do tend to uh, go rogue. That tail's a little bit longer, and that's why. Okay, so brows are on. Now we're going to get into the fun stuff. And like I said today, I'm so excited because... I adore this palette from Milk Cosmetics. This is the Gemini, and to me, it's a newish one. I've had it for a couple of months, and it is the reformulated one. So if you bought it years ago, it's a different formula now. And check out, check out the beauty of this palette. It is absolutely stunning. Now, it does have little flowers embossed into the shadows, but I have used them all a bit, so it's kind of hard to see them now, but it's absolutely gorgeous is such a beautiful palette. First up, I'm just taking the shade Luna and I'm going to dip into that below my eyebrow. 
Now I am jumping into the shade Mochi. It's an amazing grungy mid-tone green that I adore. <laughs> it is so cool. Just taking a big fluffy reffer. So today is a puppy school day. Uh, last week Billy had his first puppy school class with the other puppies. <laughs> there were two adorable little golden retrievers in there. I love how these apply. It's so cool. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, so it was, a, it was a whole bundle of adorableness in puppy class. However, if you have a headache, it is not somewhere you want to be because <laughs> puppies be making noise. <laughs> Get them in a room together. It's a party. A loud one. Lots of barking. <laughs> But also, today's a very exciting day for Billikens because it's his freedom day. <laughs> In the words of Pharrell, freedom! He is finally able to go outside and walk on the ground and live his best puppy life because his vaxes have all been done. He's fully protected now. I'm just going to take this Refa 13 and dip into the shade Leo. Deep green. Almost like an army green. I'm a little bit sore because I have begun the Sam Woods 28 program. Uh, if you're in Australia, you would know Sam Wood. He's a PT, but he was also the bachelor <laughs> a really long time ago and a really decent one, I think. And the 28 program so far is really good. They've got this month of dancing workouts, which is my jam because I've been a dancer my entire life and that's just what makes me happy. I love to dance and I love working hard when I dance. Whereas to me, doing HIIT workouts Ugh, it's like the hardest thing in the world because I don't love them. Whereas I could dance so hard f with a dance workout and still be happy doing it. <laughs> Having said that, I did do a hit workout this week and it hurt. <laughs> but it's good. I'm so, I'm so determined to um, get myself into better shape and it's not been easy because anyone who knows me knows my history with endometriosis and I have been averaging a surgery every year and a half. I had three a couple of years ago and I'm about to have another one. Not as big a one this time, so that's good. Uh, and it does, it makes it really hard to to stay fit and healthy because you're constantly having to sort of stop and start again. But that's okay. I'm gonna work on it. We're gonna get there. I'm also a medication uh, antidepressants and anti-anxiety medication that has made me put on a whole bunch of weight, but mental health is so much more important. So it's funny because I went to see a dietitian and she's like, well, can you just stop taking the, just stop taking the antidepressants? I'm like, <laughs> no, not really. I mean, I, I would love to, and I hope to one day, <sighs> but that's not really an option right now. <laughs> so... <laughs> That was $200 well spent. So instead I'm getting on the Sam Wood challenge and so far loving it. It has recipes and stuff in there that are really cool. It even has meditations and things, which is great because I think it needs to be like a whole body process, fitness and health. It's not just about your body. So yeah, so far so good. All right, so I did just take this uh, bare big refer brush and so with no shadow on it and was just blending those two colors in together a bit more. I love this palette so much. <laughs> I said that. This is such a chatty get ready with me. I think next up I want to go in with the green shimmer goals. Look how pretty that is. My goal is to put it on my eye. <laughs> so let's do that. I'm just going to wet my finger and dip into that. Oh, what a stunner. What a stunner. I was planning on picking up the Melt Bad Slime palettes. I've just been completely broke lately, so I haven't had the money. But using this palette now just makes me go do what you have to do to get those palettes. Because I just love, I love the Melt eyeshadows so much in this particular palette. They are gorgeous. I mean, seriously, look at that. I do like to take it up a little above my actual crease line as well, because I want it to be visible when my eyes are open. It never disappoints. <laughs> now, do I want to darken things up a little? 
maybe I do. Taking the Refer 14 brush before I do anything else, I'm just gonna dip into the shade Fire OG. I just wanna run that over the top of that shimmer. And I don't think I'm gonna use the black in the palette today because I'm just going to puppy school and I just don't need that much depth. <laughs> But I am going to deepen it up slightly just by taking the darkest green matte in there, the one we used earlier, Leo, on a small refer. I have an engagement party to go to soon. Actually, two of my friends just got engaged. So congratulations to Danny and to Caitlin. And yeah, I've got uh, the first Danny's engagement party coming up and I have no idea what to wear. If you know of any, if you're in Australia and you know of really good places to get like cocktail dresses, like party dresses, please let me know in the comments below because I'm, I'm failing <laughs> miserably at knowing where to get them. Obviously I don't go to fancy places very often. <laughs> even if you know of any good online shops with good returns policies, because if I can't get a cash refund, I am not buying it from an online store. <laughs> Way too much of a risk. Just blending that in a little bit. So I really want to use some of these goldy colors on the lower lash line. But before we dive into that, I am going to take the first color I used, Mochi, this incredible green shade, and put that on the outer edge of the lash line because it's just too amazing not to use more. So I'd love to know if you have endo or even um, maybe you've got polycystic ovaries, have you found it difficult to maintain a healthy weight? Have you felt exhausted and sluggish? Because that is how I feel <laughs> most of the time. And if you have any awesome tips and tricks, I'd love to hear them too. I take magnesium every day. I take iron supplements and vitamin B to try and, I have vitamin B injections to try and keep me up and about. <laughs> and then taking the mustardy shade Lorelei. Uh, that guy, Lorelei. Oh, is that from Gilmore Girls? love Gilmore Girls. Actually, if you loved Gilmore Girls and you haven't watched the show Bunheads uh, on Disney Plus, definitely watch Bunheads. Uh, it's by the same person that did Gilmore Girls and it even has some of the same cast members in it. So it does have the grandma in Gilmore Girls in it. She's, she's a main role in this show and it's so good. Unfortunately, it didn't run for very long though. Just the only downside. Because it's great. It's that same witty, quick banter that you used to from Gilmore Girls. So that's where we're at there. What I think I'm going to do just for funsies is take the, well, we've got to use the namesake of the palette, the shade Gemini, which is this gold shimmer. I'm going to put that in the inner corner of the eye. I'd love to know if you're a melt connoisseur, what some of your favorite melt palettes are as well. That would be awesome to know. Just gonna wet this flat synthetic brush. I love this palette too because you can either go all greens or golds or you can mix the two. You can take it really dark and smoky because there is that matte black in there as well. It's quite versatile. I sometimes actually use a Terra Moon's eyeshadow in the corner as my highlight, which looks amazing as well. But I thought for the sake of today's video, we just stick with the palette. And that is how that looks. So I'm just gonna chuck on some eyeliner. Today, I think I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Eye Color Magic Liner Duo in green lights. So it's got the matte green on one end and the metallic green on the other end. And I actually sharpened this the other day, which is miraculous. So let's make the most of it and get it on the eye. <laughs> Get it into the waterline. This does look so cool with this look. They look so good. <laughs> I never fail to be impressed by these amazing Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners. The 
duo eyeliners. They're incredible. And so do my hazel eyes. So are you getting excited for Christmas? Is it too soon? <laughs> no way, not too soon. I love Christmas. I'm a Christmas freak, a little Christmas nugget. It is my favorite time of the year, although uh, unfortunately <laughs> everyone's gonna be getting probably a few less presents this year because <laughs> money is tight. But that is okay because I'm surrounded by amazing people and that is not the purpose of Christmas, obviously, as much as we love giving to the people we love. I love to put Christmas lights up and I have a tradition of going around and looking at all the Christmas lights. People really get into it in our city, which is amazing in Adelaide. So it's a delight. I wear my Christmas t-shirts and my Christmas earrings and it's just game on, you know? <laughs> There's just something so magical about the time of year because I don't know, it's like for this small period of time, people remember to be a little bit more generous, a little bit more loving, a little bit kinder, and it's a little bit magical. Just taking the other end, the lighter end of that green and popping that in the inner corner. Apparently I didn't sharpen this end of the pencil. <laughs> but probably should have. <laughs> so if there's any Christmassy things that you would like me to talk about on the channel, please let me know. Or if you want to see any kind of Christmas makeup looks, see what I can do for you. That looks so good. Oh, love you. Charlotte Tilbury. On that lower line, I'm just going to run, it's running a NARS pencil because I really like this. It's the NARS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner in Sunset Boulevard. It's golden sparkly, like yellow gold. I'm so happy with this as I always am. Every time I use this palette, it just turns out so well. Mascara, just using my Tarte Opening Act Lash Primer, my Holy Grail eyelash product. I have a couple of new palettes arriving in the mail. One that I ordered a while back in the pre-order for the Glaminatrix Glamorous Palette. So Glaminatrix is an Australian indie brand. And if you haven't seen it, I do have a video up reviewing their Nearly Natural Palette. So if you want to see all the colors swatched out from that palette, you can find that. In fact, I'll link it for you. So I'm excited to get that one and check it out for you. Play with it a bit. And I also bought some Ace Beauté stuff in their recent sale. Very much looking forward to getting those palettes actually. Really excited because I haven't used their formula before. And I've heard really good things, especially since they've reformulated. Everyone's reformulating, which is great. I love when brands take on board customer feedback <laughs> and and use it to actually create better products. It's so good. She's what Melt have done, obviously, with uh, reformulating this Gemini palette. Boy, has it worked. I mean, I honestly didn't have the original incarnation of it, but I can say that this eyeshadow formula is fantastic. I am managing to put that over the entirety of my face, which isn't necessarily uh, what I would recommend to you yourself. It's because I generally do my mascara in front of my wardrobe mirror, which is obviously flat when I just get right up next to it and do it. And I'm at a different angle. <laughs> it's funny how the little things can throw us off, isn't it? I actually heard uh, Angelica Nyquist, I think it was her, saying recently that she does her lower lashes mascara first, which makes sense. So that then... Because obviously when you're doing your lower lashes, you look up, right? So if you do your lower lashes first, it doesn't matter if you look up because you're not going to smudge mascara on your lid. But for me, I tend to use not very watery mascara, so I don't really have that problem, generally speaking. If you do get mascara on your face, if it's a non-waterproof situation, you should just be able to let it dry and then chip it off after. I have a filthy cotton bud. You should do it with a clean one. <laughs> Oh, hopeless. Sorry, I just had a weird symbol show up on my screen and I have no idea what it meant. So anyway, I realized that I was running low on battery and now I'm plugged in. So I am now going in with my MAC Glow Play blush in So Natural. I love this blush so much. I haven't loved a MAC product this much in many years but it looks so stunning on the face. I love the consistency of these blushes. Taking my stupidly multi Napoleon Complexion Perfection brush, it's one of those dual fiber numbers. 
and just depositing that on the apple and up. This really is such a beautiful, glowy, natural looking blush on the skin. They really killed it with these blushes. I need to make a blush video because I have so many favorite blushes lately. I am now taking my cream blush in gold now. It's a clean cream blush light. I'm really struggling to use my words today. Apologies. That's what happens on a day off. Radio announcers forget how to speak. <laughs> I'm just going to apply that with my, with my finger. Mm, such a sheen. All these things have beautiful sheens to them. In case you haven't noticed a theme, I love me a good glow. <laughs> so I'm using that sort of as a highlighter blush hybrid. It's one of my favorite combos actually. That MAC blush and this cream blush light from Mel. Stunning. Am I right? Of course I am. Uh, so <laughs> that just leaves lips. And one of my favorite things at the moment is, I told you I love the Australian brand Nude by Nature. I'm wearing the foundation. I also really love their lipsticks. These lipsticks are so damn good. They're like, yeah, a creamy matte lipstick. This one is the shade 02 Sunset. Just so creamy. It's a peachy shade. And that is the one I'm gonna go in with today. These are absolutely saturated with pigment. And they are gorgeous, creamy lip colors that wear really well. I highly recommend that you check out Nude by Nature. They have incredible sales all the time. It is so worth picking up some of their products. I also have, just while we're here, <laughs> it happens to be in front of me. I also have the shade Cerise, which is 08 from the Nude by Nature Creamy Lipsticks, the mattes. And this one is a beautiful burnt berry. Stunning. They're both amazing. They feel amazing. And I recommend them. So that is my face all finito. My little puppy is lying here being so good. Do you want to see him before I go? Okay, I'll just get him. Oh, this is my beautiful boy. This is Billy Bowie Girl. He is. The most beautiful little boy in the whole world. He does need a haircut. He's a little bit scruffy at the moment, aren't you, baby? Hey, Bubba. Oh, I love you. <laughs> so Billy's a little bit camera shy. He always, <laughs> he always freaks out when I try and film him for some reason, which is really frustrating uh, because he's so adorable. But anyways, <laughs> my little boy. Uh, that's it. We are ready to rock and roll for the day. I really hope that you have had a fun time getting ready yourself and maybe this has given you some inspiration. I love all the products I used on my face today. I really do. They're some of my faves. So please do subscribe to the Daily Diaries channel. It really means a lot to me. And if you can press like, that's fantastic. And if you don't want to miss the next video, make sure you hit the little bell notification as well. So it lets you know when I upload something new and undoubtedly riveting. <laughs> Have a fantastic day. I'll be back with you really soon. See you later. Bye.